Oh, looks like I got a new email. I gotta go check that. Do, 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 do. Do <laughs> Email says, Dear RobotGZ slash aka Mark Howen, we were wondering if you would like to do a review slash how to play La Saga. We have, we have recently uh, checked out your videos and liked them and found out that you're an experienced player and know a lot of good combos and you know way too much about this game. Sincerely, a DM of La Saga. One second! <laughs> Time to review and how to play this game I've been playing for five years. Mysterious man will put this game out of its misery. <laughs> now come at me, Lost Saga, for your pay for your your badness will. Be a maid that helps to set things right. Okay, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and call a friend. <laughs> no, this is uh, not how uh, I'll be a mil I'll be a millionaire, so for so bad. Uh, call. All right, I got it working. It's record. It's recording right now. I'm gonna edit out like the mistakes or. Anything. What? I'm gonna edit out the mistakes or anything. Um. There wasn't there, there 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 wasn't any mistakes right now uh so far so it's fine, I got it. Okay. So. So. Yeah, it's recording right now. The best hero to use is Desert Blader. <laughs> Pay to. <laughs> Pay to <laughs> gear suck. Don't use them. Don't abuse them. How about Blank them? Drops. How about them spam attacks, bro? <laughs> um. Uh. Don't be an ice mage that spams paladin. Uh. If it's in the Indu, don't complain. That's the golden rule. And if you play soccer mode, I'm better than you. I, I, that's all I have. Thank you. Are you talking about Mega Man soccer? No, I mean like... <laughs> <laughs> I mean literally the soccer mode. That's my favorite mode now. Oh, alright. Alright, time to review and how to play. Alright, so, Lost Saga has, Lost Saga has an anniversary, which has been a year now, which is tomorrow, 
And let's see. Also, it was released in 2009 by OGP. And then a few months later, we made, took it, and we didn't get transfers. And everybody was upset. And then after we spent a few months on we made um we got transferred to z8 and we actually got transfers this time fast forward to now where we're still with z8 and they're doing an okay job i say okay because well the servers are just very very bad right now so many people are disconnecting from Master Snowtown or some other master mode. Yes. Okay, so the um Lost Saga, uh, NA of Lost Saga, also some other Lost Saga launched on Steam. And if you go to the store. Do, 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 if you search on Saga, it's right there. No, no, um, your Lost Saga that you search may be different depending on which you're, which country you're from. So, yep. Um. First time Lost Saga um, launched on scene um, after the first day. Uh, wait, yes, after the first day, uh, we got an update right after the Steam release, and when the Steam, no wait. Was it an update? I can't remember. Um, I think it was alright. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. Okay, so... I got... Uh, mm, I was in group chat. Because, uh, I don't know, I felt like it. So, um... Alright. Wait, can uh, we talk? Or? Um, sure. You want... I'm just kind of doing a review, so... Oh, sorry, sorry. Go on. It, it, yeah. So, um... I was in the group chat, and... Some random person came in. And was like... Hey... Uh... It's like, do you, do you know how to play this game? I was like, yeah. Um... Would you teach me and some friends... How to play it? I go like, yeah, sure. And then... He gives me, like... A, uh... Teen speak server and there was like three other people in there and uh, um, after that day well you see I kind of I forewarned them about the uh, pay to win gears and a lot of pay to win people on this game and I think somehow that affected them, or maybe it didn't, I don't know, because the, pers uh, the person that gave the TeamSpeak server to me is not really logging on anymore, so there's that. So, anyways, um, there is DLC for La Saga, which is not very much, but I hope they released some other DLC that's new. Because, let's see, the Pick Gears package is pretty much paid to win Gears. Rage, Ber Rage Berserker's pa perfect patch package is um, different Epic Gears for uh, the uh, Berserker. Like so. And then back. Okay. No. Oh wait. Darn it. DLC. All right. And then the Star Hero. Uh, um. 
the Star Hero Summon Scroll lets you have a five hour random hero that's not free am or, or rare, I think. <laughs> Anyways, um, so it gives you a five hour random hero. I don't have any proof of this, but it says if you click on it, do do do. That's right. Okay, so you have set your foot onto our most recent little DLC available on Steam for dates. It all began on an unknown planet similar to Earth named La Saga. It was indeed a part of a peaceful planet where many heroes made their living by brawling their peers. One day, an evil wizard appeared out of nowhere and jailed all of them onto a scroll. It is now up to you, Summoner, to liberate these heroes once a day. Okay, yep. Each hero can be played up to five hours. There is your proof right there. So, now that I got that done, um, let's see. Uh, there are achievements for this game, but there is no completion achievement, unfortunately. So, yeah, there's that. And I don't know if these achievements are worth it, so. I could just look through. No. No, 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 no. No, they're not. Because it'll get you the achievement, but it won't give you anything. So, there's that. So, now on to the game. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Exit. There. As you can see, um, the newest hero that is released right now is the premium Naku Ruru, which is a um, which is a girl fighter character with a hawk from Samurai Showdown, a game I actually played on um, the Super Nintendo. Those were the days. What do you say, cranberries? Oh, yeah, that's right. Should have that up. Oh, I'll turn that up here. <clears throat> So, uh, to the review, and I will do the how to play later. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, 
16 modes in Lost Saga that you can play. And let's see. Uh, you can only play. So you can only play Deep Force, Snowtown, Fire Temple, and Crusade by yourself. All the other games are multiplayer or PvP. So, and then, let's see. One of the new features of Lost Saga is pets and. With the recent update, there are four new ones, which are a raccoon, a monkey, and two others I completely forgot about. <laughs> so, the pet system works like kind of like any other pet system. You feed it food, it grows, levels up, morphs into a Digimon or a Pokemon, and then learns Thunderbolts, and then you train it, and then you'll go to Leap. Alright, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. um, so, what you feed your pets are dimensional shards and yeah, dimensional shards and basic hero shards, which are things you can get from Snowtown Easy and Snowtown Master. As as we said before, um, uh. thing about Master Mode is that it randomly uh, re randomly disconnects you from the game, which forms into a rage quit. Or going like, eh, fuck it, I'm not gonna play today. And then there's a, let's see, there's Daily Mode, which is three modes that you can play for stars and once you collect stars I don't know what the one okay. Oh here it is. Okay, so wait. Star coins I don't think do anything. Let's see. And then the quit join option allows you to pick a mode you like or a mode that you're going to do and then quit join it. Let's see. Market is a place where you can sell gears that you don't want, or maybe <clears throat> people will need. But fortunately, when, uh, unfortunately, you need a gear seal, a uh, gear sealer, uh, to uh, seal anything that's sealable and sell it on the market for however much you want. And the market prices are really crazy and it feels like I... it feels like I'm in Monopoly somehow. So there is that. Let's see. Faction... <clears throat> Faction is a different... well... Uh, <laughs> Faction is a well, well, not technically a well, but a battle between what the hell? Legion and Order. 
<laughs> yeah, I know. I, I just, they just like change it to government forces versus rebel forces. I just, I just <laughs> <laughs> CP nine school. Anyways, uh, so yeah, order versus legion. I took, I took a lead. Choose legion because it, because uh, it says raise the flag for freedom, of oh, freedom, not for freedom, but you get the gist. But never liked order that much, and I really don't faction battle that much. So it's like if there was a middle faction, I would choose that. But there isn't. Maybe in the future. <laughs> Uh, so, with Faction Battle, you can Faction Battle for however long you want, and you receive points, and those points will uh, allow you to re receive GP. You can only receive a set amount of GP when Faction Season is over, which is... Which is the 22nd. And there are two modes you can do in Faction, which is Faction War, where you gather a bunch of people or guildmates and go into Faction War, or Ladder, where you face one on one with someone else you don't know. It's probably going to kick your butt. <laughs> who probably has a higher ranking than you, or, I don't know, maybe one of the top five ranked slider people. Let's see. Then there's the Grand Tourney, which, really? um, which allows um, you to... What? No, I was saying Elite's fun. Elite's fun? What? <laughs> What's Elite? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the three versus three tourney. Oh, yeah, okay. Alright, so. Um, the tournament is where you can invite three people, apparently, and all of them to. Uh, let's see. Uh, all of them to tourney uh, battle with you. And I think you can watch the tournament if you're invited. It, also, if you have a tournament ticket, which is... If I can find it. Right, right here. Which is, like, uh oh <clears throat> Which is a lot of GP for some strange reason. I don't know why. So, um, anyways, um, so there's that. I don't know if there's actual prizes for um, winning the tournament, but I'm pretty sure you get faction points for it. So, let's just. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Now it's plaza where you can create a plaza and fish or mine, whichever you're choosing. So, and... Alright, so now we're in a plaza, and yes. Okay, so when you're. When you log in, or maybe you don't have the quest set yet, because you're new or something, you'll get a repeatable Easy Crusade quest, and it's only available. Um, when you log in the next day, it won't come up. It only come up if you visit a plaza, which is really weird. Because it used to come up each day you log in. And now it just comes back up when you visit a plaza. So, in the plaza, 
you can either fish or relic. I usually fish because uh, you get better chances of catching things than, well, you have to do, if you want a relic, you have to do it with other people. And most of the most of the time, you won't get you won't get what you want. So yeah, there's that. So uh, apparently, I need a fishing rod. <sighs> of course, I do. <laughs> what, oh, no. Leaner bait or go home. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, so you can go fishing by pressing this button, and you can do, what was the other one? Oh yeah, uh, mine exploring this one, and then you can do this with the jetpack, and let's see. You can also make your plaza. Wait, wait, that's not right. Wait. Hmm. While you're creating a plaza, you can either make it into a training lobby where you can fight people to your heart's content or don't. And then there's chat plaza where you can't hit anybody and you can just chat with people. So, and the maximum amount of players that you can invite to a plaza is 32. So, and then you can choose the plaza map you want when creating plaza. There's not much, but I'm pretty sure that there will be more in the future. And let's see. Let's see. Alright, so quests are the essential point of Lost Saga. Uh, you'll get a quest pretty much each time you rank up or during your rank, uh, during the rank you are at, you'll receive a new quest. You also receive a quest when you uh, purchase a new hero, either GP or ZP. And, let's see. Um, there are <clears throat> there are some quests you can or can't do. Like for instance, this one, the um, newest one where you have to battle with the premium character Nakuru and Mama. Uh, uh, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, um, so, um, you have to battle for a certain amount of minutes, and there's, it's usually a chain of quests for three parts, and you get different amounts of prizes for each part. So, there's that. Um, uh, let's see. Um, let's, um. Uh, there are repeatable, uh, there are repeatable quests which um, are quests that you can do each day when you log in. Um, like I said before, the only quest that shows up in Plaza is the Crusade quest, and that also goes for you know easy, medium, and hard. <sighs> Oops. Um, let's see. Uh, and then when you complete a quest, it'll be over in this tab, and it'll show you um, the, the things you completed and what you got, and so on and so forth. And sometimes 
And sometimes when you complete a quest, you'll receive a medal, which is in your gear. All you have to do is press the all button, and it should be all the way down here. Look at all those friggin' perm gears I have. Uh, so these are medals which allow you to have different stats for um, each character, and metal varies on each of different stats. Like, for instance, this one about Samurai having an attack, armor sale, and move speed. And pretty sure there's like a really, really good uh, metal. Well, okay, here's, here's a good metal I have. Um, this England soccer metal, which I got during. What was it? Pretty sure. Oh wait, it was the uh, soccer thing in um, South America, and um, there was a event going on, I believe, where, um, no wait, there wasn't. So, when there was this soccer event, um, there, there was like different males that you can have and each metal gives a different um different stats so let's see i also have one for i think ah uh, yep and this is my south korea mail so it's all right um all right now to gift oh wait 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 all right so let's see if you press the messenger the <clears throat> if you press the messenger button, you uh, you see a list of friends, and you also see uh, clovers and your your gold clovers, which you can buy. You go to the event tab and clover button. Um, you can buy various things up to let's see. The, Best one is Tournament Gear Chess and the uh, Basic Hero Zoo Starbucks. So, <clears throat> Culver's are. Culver's are things you can um, give out to various friends, and they can buy different stuff in the Clover Shop. And you can only see, receive one clover per friend, and you can receive each clover each day you're on. And there's mail where you receive messages from a lot of other people. Um, if you're not on or if you're coming on later or something and then there's the chat buttons where you chat with other people in a private chat room and talk about stuff and then there's the guild chat where you talk to your guild mates and so on and so forth so, and then when you in guild chat, there's guild information which shows you uh, your guild info, which also shows you your guild information, your guild status, how you're doing, your guild bonus, what your rank is. Um, also tells you if you're the guild master or not, and then it shows you. Um, how long you had to go right up here. <laughs> what are you saying no for? With guilds, you can uh, create your own guild logo and your mini miniature guild logo, which you can buy at the special tab right here. Guild. Um, <clears throat> 
Guildmark Change Ticket, which cost about 50,000 GP and 5,900 ZDP year weight. It's pretty much. Ugh, my throat needs replenishment. So, let's see. Right. So, in Guild Info, you can re <laughs> recommend players. Um, and, let's see. It depends if they're on. You can only mm, you can only recommend players if they're on. If they're not, it'll it'll be like I'll show you. Let's see. Uh, that's okay. And send guild fight press. It says you cannot send a suggestion to an offline user. So yeah, and then. The wait list is where if you're not on or if you are um, a random person who doesn't have a guild will send a request to join your guild and, uh, <clears throat> and it shows you their information their rank and their stats and so on and so forth Let's see. Let's see. Um, help, which is help, tells you about guild with the <clears throat> guild information, grade guild, guilds and factions, guild rank and benefits, and so on and so forth. Let's see. Um, yes, uh, you can change your information uh, about your guild right here with text and so on and so forth and then you can look at your guild members with this button and you can check their info or you can appoint them as guild master or guild officer or if you're really feeling in the bad mood you can kick them for being a uh, herp -a derp <laughs> See, and then there's the option to quit the guild if said guild is oh I don't know really mean to you and did stuff to you and so on and so forth. But let's not talk into that. Let's see. Uh, let's see there. Are, there's also a walkthrough, but it's not the best walkthrough there is. It's like the worst, well, it's kind of like on the minimal level of walkthrough guide. So it's like, lose the saga, and then there's skills, and then there's the skill age. So if you're looking for something to help you understand this game more, it's in here. But the only problem is, um, there are, there are, well, take an example for this one. Uh, you want to scroll down, but you can't. So th there should be a scroll option in the uh, walkthrough, but there isn't. So, let's see. And then if you press the option button, you can set your graphics, uh, screen resolution, filter effect, Edge effects, blah blah blah, backgrounds. You can change backgrounds. Um, let's see. You can pretty much download any picture, you, <clears throat> any picture you want um, for Lost Saga as a background. Well, the only problem is it has to be a, a JPEG. Um, image. So there is that. No, I don't want to farm. Okay, so let's see. Um, so you can let's see. Uh, max, uh, okay, there's speculation and the best thing to do about special, uh, speculation is just to opt, opt, <clears throat> Auto optimize it, which allows it to set the best graphic options for your computer. 
and let's see all right and then there's the audio where you can um, turn off the background music and effects and change it louder or lower there is no voice chat settings yet which needs to be there or maybe not I don't know Let's see, game tab allows you to block battle invites, factor more invites, high chat, chat balloons, high guild illnesses, uh, chat filter, which is like a version of Wizard World 1's um, chat system where you can say certain stuff, but there is, there is some things you can't say, like fuck and <laughs> shit and ass and so on and so forth so you um you can't you can't really um yes you can um minimize those words so people would understand more um but i'm pretty sure they'll be angry so uh yeah there's that um the replace button allows it to if if someone says a bad word it changes into like a different word you don't know it's usually rosary so and uh, and star does star does um those uh epilepsies uh if you say a bad word which is Okay, I guess. Let's see. Display skill and buff icons. You should definitely have that on if you're facing someone or a um, or a, um, PVE dungeon. Um, let's see. Higher high tier hotkeys, which is the uh, number thing where it shows you the heroes and so on and so forth. Let's see. And then there's macro settings where you can um, type your own meshes, create your own um, thing, and uh, let's see if you have blocks, per blocks, or thirty hour or five days or something like that. If you go to special, da -da 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 -da. if you go to this. It shows you how to use it. It says slash block B. And then to add a block, you have to use the, atta the attack the key. To switch a block, you have to use the defend slash jump key. And it says you can set up as macro, and you can. Which is right here. So, Alright, and then we'll go to camera options, where you can... Um, record um in game uh in game stuff uh, that you do and um i tried this months ago and and i'm pretty sure it still has the same problem which is it doesn't it doesn't record sound it only records gameplay for me so there's that which is why I use fraps for um, gaming stuff and then there's the uh, camera option where I mean the uh, picture option where you can um, uh, snap photos of in-game stuff like what you're doing or what you're about to do, or um, capturing a liger slash hacker slash foreigner. So, and there's options to uh, there's options to uh, allow you to capture that, which is in keyboard. It's down here. Right here. Alright, and then keyboard is pretty much the place where you can set up your controls and the shortcut keys and your heroes 
and your macro shortcuts and so on and so forth and I'll talk about that more when I get to the how to play if I do and let's see the control pad is where you can plug in a Xbox 360 controller or a Logitech controller and if you don't like the keyboard options you can use a controller and you can set um, you can set your game controller to whatever your uh, whatever your settings want it to be so there's that Alright, so if you press the use default settings, it just goes back to the default settings. Oh, yeah, here. So, let's see. Uh, okay. Alright, so, uh, so gifts are what you receive from quests in game or a random person that is gifting you. Or no wait yeah that's right yeah. Alright and then let's see. Uh, all right so I don't know what. All right if you go to special there are many different types of things uh, that is in the special tab from clovers to PVE items to sealed treasure uh sealed mm, sealed monster uh, sealed fire monsters sealed snow monster chests and gold keys and silver keys to uh, premium nicknames guild creation gold tokens relic kits and essence of snow things snow things where you can use it for chests or uh, metals or um, dimensional stars on coins which is uh, which you can use it for um, master mode and crusade medium and hard let's see. and then let's see. Yeah, these um, level 10 medals slash level 3 allows you to open a medal in a hero slot and they have to be a certain level to in order for you to open that medal slot. And there you, okay. And then blocks are what you can use to create events or place blocks that allow you to attack it or just create something that's worth looking forward to. Upgrade resets allow you to reset your recent upgrade and um, allow you to set whatever you want for your hero. Megaphones allow you to yell on um, chat which goes to pretty much everyone that's online right now so um sometimes useful and sometimes not and then there's lunar bait which is the best uh, bait there is when you're fishing because you'll you'll always catch something with lunar bait and if uh, if you use fish bait you'll sometimes catch stuff. It's a 50-50 chance. <laughs> and then there's the fishing rod, which allows you to fish. And then expanding the hero slot allows you to... Uh... <sighs> okay. Uh... Allows you to... Expand your hero slots if you're full on your first slot. So there's that. Red race, uh, racers um, allow you to race your battle stats, your faction stats, and your liar stats, depending on which racer you have. And then there's crafting, where you can craft certain heroes, certain gears, and 
target um, certain stuff to make one whole thing, and then GP uh, crafting where you can uh, uh, use a hero shard and get as GP. Let's see, decorate button. A decorate button shows you all your styles and your um, let's see action moves like you, ch you can choose action move and said for like a game result or says special or lab room or whatever and then there's style package we can where you can use it to um, style out your hero and make him a uh, girl or not and have different um, styles on it slash clothing items. Let's see. And, let's see. and then there's the I said Kurt. Okay, there we go. Alright, so there's here's oh, the all right, there's hairstyles um, where you can change the color of the, your hair that you're wearing. So, gears are where you can uh, equip certain gears to do certain combos and um, sell gears and. Uh, Make certain gears sealable or make them sealed. Um, gear signs are where you can, or you can um, if you have epic gear, you can make artwork out of it and make it into anything you want. So, let's see. Okay. Alright. And then, I already talked about metals, so I already got that out of the way. And, let's see. Uh, the hero tab allows you, uh, allows you to see the heroes you have, their stats, and you can you can allow them to uh, yeah you can allow them to um, get more XP if you give them um, dimensional shards or um, their own shards. They're enchanting. Okay, uh, oops. Alright, and let's see. Oops. Alright, and then there's the extension option, which allows you to extend the certain hero up to however many hours you want, unless you want per. And there's the discharge option, which allows you to, um, well, there's the discharge option, and then there's the delete option, which both allow you to sell the hero. And it's like, and well, before you sell the hero, it's like, do you want to sell this hero for this much? And like, no. So let's see. And let's see. One more thing, and then. This review will be done. All right, and then there's there's the shop, which allows you to buy certain things, purchase equipment, and purchase hero scrolls and decorations and special things and the that thing is where covers are and sometimes there's events where you have certain stuff like a dev k coin where you can use it as a 
use it for legendary users, and sometimes there will be like a extender quest to make those gears into like hundred days, which would be perfect. And then there's like there's uh, packages where um, it gives you the hero and the gears, and sometimes it doesn't. So there's like different ones. There's there's ones with the gear on the gears, and and then there's ones with the gears, and then there's like this new sound capsule which gives you a random uh, Rudolph gear or a Santa gear because it's pretty close to uh, Christmas time. So. And yes, all right. So that's that's it for the last saga review. So tune in. Subscribe. <laughs> uh, tune in. Uh, tune in. Uh, for some more. Uh, because I'll be doing how to play later. Because my. Throat is really dry right now, and I need to eat, and so on and so forth. So, yeah, that's gonna be it for now. Hope you need to know. Ugh, forget it. That's... All right. Now I'll show you guys how to play this game. There are two different options uh, on. How to play this game? Either a game controller or uh, the your computer keyboard slash laptop keyboard, and I'll show you both. And of course, there there's other there's other things in this game that I need to teach you um, how the controls work and how things work and so on and so forth so now I'm going to do the controls all right so this is a Xbox 360 controller that you can use for Lost Saga gameplay you can use a Logitech uh, game controller which I have in my room but I'll, I'll stick with the uh, Xbox 360 controller for now Okay, so for movement, you can either use the uh, uh, the left control stick, the D pad, or the right stick. But usually, people don't use the right stick for movement. So yeah, um, I prefer the left stick. You know, up, down, left, right, then. Let's see. For let's see. Okay. Um, and then let's see. Um, for the buttons that you need to use for this game, well, kind of depends if you're in battle or not. Um, so you, you're pretty much using the keyboard most of the time when you're playing La Saga. So, let's see. You got four buttons that you can um, choose from. Otherwise, you can choose from these four buttons also on the top of the controller. But usually, I uh, I stick with these ones. So, I go let's see, jump, defend, attack. So, X, A, B. Uh, you can just uh, you can configure the control controls yourself on however you want it to be, which is a good thing in uh, this game. Um, with skills, I usually go with the uh, with the uh, four buttons on the top of uh, top of the controller. Like okay, so. First attack, second, oh, first skill, second skill, third skill, fourth skill, and that's it. So, let's 
So <clears throat> yeah, that's the yeah. Xbox 360 controls. If you were to use a um, gaming controller, um, I, I mean it's it's optional for you to choose um, what you're better with the keyboard or the controller and like I said I'll show both so now to keyboard controls slash all the other stuff that's in this game that's gonna take me a lot of time to get into uh. alright so this is your basic uh, laptop keyboard uh, a computer keyboard would be different it'd be like keyboard right here and the monitor screen right there um, and the mouse is like way over here so and the mouse is like used for this game like 85% of the time so you're gonna be using this a lot so now to the keyboard controls which is kind of hard to see with this camera but I'll get closer in as possible. So, let's see. Let's start with the movement. So, move around with the um, arrow keys, which is down, up, left, right, which is right here. And then, if you go over here, if I can see it, uh, there it is. Um, you, got, you got two different choices. You got ASD and ZXC. Uh, both are... Uh, both are the same, but they're in different positions. I usually go with the uh, the ASD position, which is jump, uh, defend, and attack. And then ZXZ does the same thing, literally. So, um, let's see. And then, yeah. That's pretty much it for the... Oh, wait. And then, like... If you want to, like, type in something to say to someone, you press the enter key, which is right here, and then you, and then you, uh, type in whatever you want to say to them, and so on and so forth. So, there's that. And then, no, wait. No, that, that's it. Yeah, so those are the keyboard controls. Now I'll show you what the controls do in game. Okay, so we got the movement, left, right, down, up, and then we got jump, defend, and attack, and then and then use it on the knees like so. And then, yeah. If you're new to this game, you'll start out with uh, this hero, which is Shadow Assassin. Shadow Assassin. And then. <clears throat> and then Develop Arcade tells you. Uh, well. Develop Arcade introduces you to Lost Dog and then he. Um, Tells you how to, uh, how to play and use the skills, but uh, you to use the skills you you do um, AS and then AD or ASD. The same works for ZXC, which is equal to ASD, but I use ASD like I said before. So there's that. Um, and of course, um, you can you can do combos with certain skills. Like, um, let's see. yeah, okay. So there's there's one combo right there, and then another one with the first hero you have is this. Oops. No. Well, you get the idea. So uh, that's that's uh, yeah. So this is the first hero that I showed showed you 
and let you know what his. Oh wait, no, actually I'm not actually done with him yet. I forgot about his basic uh, skills. I showed you. I mm, I showed you his uh, power skills. Now I'll show you his regular skills. So just one, two, three, four. And just his normal attack, and then let's see, his jump attack, and then uh, hold D, which is this. If you slightly hold D, you do a <clears throat> a uppercut with claws, which would leave the opponent bleeding while it's fatality. <laughs> <sighs> okay, um, uh, alright, wait, yeah, okay, so, D and slightly hold D, the majority is still do it, now, the dash attack, which is this, oops, and this, well, you get the idea, and then, usually heroes have hold D, Dash attacks. Uh, I don't think. Oops. No. Uh, Child Assassin doesn't have. Um. Hey. Um. Why do you keep logging in and logging out? Download. I keep DC. Oh. Yeah, that explains it. Okay. That's good. Uh, do you keep the scene from um, No Town Master? <laughs> I DC from that, and I DC from spectating it, and I DC just lo um, joining another match. Oh wow, that is so stupid. Okay then, <clears throat> all the more reason to hate this game. Anyways, um, let's see. Did you look to clovers? Okay. Uh, so now I showed you how to play with Shout Assassin, and when you're playing the game, you can also purchase um, other heroes from the shop. All you have to do is click shop, and then press the hero tab, and you you usually want to go for the hero scroll. If you don't, you can. Um, Purchase a certain hero that you can play with for 3,750 GP. But if you want to save GP, then the best route uh, is to go for is the hero skull. So there is that. So let's see. Alright, so. Basically, most of how to play Lost Saga is, you know, I already showed you how to play the Shadow Assassin, that's done in all forms. But to get to battle rooms, you have to move, move your mounts all the way over here to the exit thing. Don't worry, you won't exit the game and press the space button. Oh, I forgot to mention the space button. Oh, well. <clears throat> so, now you're in the lobby, and you see the, these six rooms right here. And you can... You can see other rooms if you press this gear button right here. And then press click this one for, I don't know, fun, and then you click on it, and then you join it, but, <clears throat> so, uh, let's see. Alright, and, once you join it, then your ear, oh, hold on, I'll actually do that now. Okay, so, once you join it, you're either spectating the match, because uh, it's um because it's about to end or you're in it so that's 
two possibilities. So, um, you you'll usually you'll usually spawn on the lesser side of the team, which is you know. Okay, so if the blue side has like four people and the red side has three people, you're most likely to um, spawn on red team side. But if it were the other way around, you would spawn on the blue side team. So there is that. <clears throat> okay. Um, I will show you how to lose and how to win at this game later on. First of all, I'll show you how to fish a relic, which is pretty easy. Pretty easy. So, okay, so you're on the battle tab and you go like, oh, where the, where, where the heck is the plaza tab? It's just like on the left side right here with all these other tabs. And then you press the plaza public, whatever that means. You just press it and then either join the plaza or you just create your own just go crazy with the title and if you want a password just put a password so no one joins and leave you alone. And you don't want random people join go like I want something. Give me something. I'm drawing the gravel. I sound like Elvis. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, what the hell? Hold on, guys. Without, um, uh, Nick slash faction, because I think he's having problems with um, logging in slash playing the game. So, <clears throat> as we no, as we said before, uh, the game is having disconnection problems. So, yeah, I I would just not play this game until it resolves its DC problem. Okay, so I'm going to show you uh, how to fish and how to um, relic. So, put in, a, put in a name, put in a password so no one can bar you, and so on and so forth. Otherwise, you can join your own, uh, join another person spot and go like, hey, I'm some random person you don't know. Great! Fantastic! Alright, uh, I'm gonna get rid of some light and get rid of my shell assassin because I don't need. What? 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 <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I know he's good. No, but I don't want him. No, just, no, just touch. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, yeah, as you can see, I'm cosplaying as uh anime character. LV anime uh, I really love. So uh okay, so mm, here I pause the goic um how do I fish? So you buy you, okay, so you go to the shop and then you click on the special tab and then you scroll down or use your scroll button on your mouse. Uh, and then you purchase a fishing rod for seven days for 2,500 GP. And then um, if <clears throat> if you need bait, which you're obviously going to need uh, for fishing, you buy uh, fish bait, which is 900 GP. If you want 500, that's up to you. That's 50,000. It's your own choice, and go ahead, or whatever. <clears throat> you cannot, however, buy lure fish bait, because it's only CP. However, you can get it with clovers for uh, 30, and you get 
40 lunar bait, which is um, which is a good thing to do because sometimes with regular fish bait, you um, you don't get what you uh, want sometimes. So <clears throat> okay, so all right, so okay, so you you bought your fishing rod and your bait, so. Uh, you go like, okay, so where do I fish? And maybe I'll fish right here. Nope, you can't. It says, drop zone needed. Uh, you're not, uh, you're only allowed to fish near, uh, the drop zone. You can only fish around the drop zone. First, look for a nice place to set up and fish. Well, once you find a place, you can head towards an, uh, an edge and start fishing. Good luck. So, apparently, it wants us to fall off the edge and fish. That's what it's telling me. So you go close to the edge and you press this button right here. Fishing. Um, okay. Weird. Uh, this is... This is the edge. What? <clears throat> ah, this is the edge. Uh, <sighs> really? Are you going to... Okay, hold on. Oh, wait. I'm actually down somewhere I need to be. Okay, so you're you're close to the edge. I don't know why it wasn't working up there. <clears throat> so you you're fishing now. Yay! That's how you fish. And then you have an inventory of ten fish slots, and you can only get up to uh, up to ten. Um, you can level up your fishing box. Um, once it reaches 10, and it continues once you, uh, every 10 levels. Um. Hey, what happened? My modem, like, just freaked out, and it just blew up, and had to reset it. Ah, alright. So, I was just, um, I was just talking about, um, creating a pause, uh, Making room name, uh, having a password, and uh, telling them how to fish. You there? Are you still going? <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how long is this? Is it gonna be like in parts or like? Uh, whole... uh, uh, it's gonna be the whole thing. Cause. cause... Whoa. <laughs> It's gonna be like twenty minutes or something. <laughs> it's gonna be like an like an hour or so. It's gonna be like one uh, like an hour and I don't know. Maybe it'll be two hours depending on how long this is gonna go for. Okay, so now now that now that I taught you how to. How, how to fish. Let's see. Okay, so mm, now mm, now you're wondering how to run a rug. Why should you rug? It's horrible. <laughs> Anyways, um, no, I don't want to be Bowser. <laughs> uh, so okay, so you're wondering how do I rug? Okay, so. Yeah, you go back to shop, you click on special tab, and then you go, you scroll down to route keg, okay. and then you purchase it, and you really don't need anything else, anything else other than route okay. uh, <clears throat> route okay. and then you, uh, and then you click exploration, the uh, exploration button, and you have to be like set, uh, standing still to uh, actually relic, and then you. Uh, Find it by just walking around, or just jetpacking the f there, because jetpacks are really fun. Jetpacks, I'm do, 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 do. I am Iron Man. Yeah. Uh, it should be right here. Okay, so you press the D button. Boom! You got really, uh, you got something really bad. So you think <clears throat> the thing is about rocking is that 
you have to have a lot of people in order to relic. Otherwise, if you do it yourself, you'll just keep getting the F rank dirt uh, uh, soil. There, there should be a um, lunar um, relicing kit, but there isn't. So, if there was, you could probably do it by yourself. So, Relking is not my... Uh, the, it's not... It's not fun. It's not... Cause, well, I mean... You, you, you don't... You don't get what you want. You just, like... Um... You always just... You're, like, one of the ones, like... Um... That doesn't get whatever the treasure is. So okay. So now let's go back to the. All right. So. Uh, right. How to win at this game is very very difficult. Cause um well. You see, there are, okay, there's tons of different people, okay, you got your very skilled players, skilled players, normal players, um, lower players, and then there's people who are new. Uh, most likely you are going to face someone that's on your level. If you go to your info, if you click this, or if you click on your name, which should be in the lobby, which is here, um, you can see your skill level. You can see your skill level right here, which did, which mine is Commander uh, Second Class. It's like that because. Uh, it is too good for LS. <laughs> oh, oh, I wish that were true. Oh, I wish that was so true. Uh, I am a pro player. That that's true, but I I'm not that good. So um. Anyways, I got to this rank because, well, it's a long story, but let's say a lot of, no, a lot of dark people ruined a special day for me, and I was never the same, and I got depression and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. Two people, no wait, three people allow me to, um, three zero them, which is pretty much three, yeah, three zero, which means it's like, you get three wins and the other side doesn't get any wins at all, so there's that. It's not... It's not fun for the other side. I know that. I know that. And sometimes, sometimes they'll be sad too, or something. Because when you lose, it doesn't feel great. It just doesn't. Especially when people are jerks and be like, oh, I'm so, uh, I'm better than you. I have paid with gears. I have paid with here. Blah, 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 blah. Herp, derp, herp, derp. So, yeah, there's that. <clears throat> Anyways, um, and then, like, okay, so, yeah, so, to win at this game, you have to be uh, a very skilled person. Uh, someone like myself. Someone like 
that uh, someone uh, that can like teach you combos and uh, training and all the the heroes the hero stuff. And a hero can save us. I'm not gonna sit here and wait. Purchase our song because we really want your money. Anyways. <clears throat> okay, so. Uh, Alright, alright. So, how to lose this, this game is very easy. You just don't do anything and just get your butt beat, pretty much. Yeah, I'll just show you with these. On Mac robots that are in my HQ somehow. I don't know how they got there. I just don't. I keep asking developer K how they got there, but he he never answers my question. I mean, he is a developer. He, he should know how they got there. I mean, he's in my HQ every single day. He's there every single day, stalking you. Why won't he tell you how the robots got there? Did they somehow got sent by Iron Man? Be like, yeah, this this HQ needs to be like defended and stuff, and like this guy has been like really. <laughs> you know what? Forget it. I was trying to go for the story, and I completely forgot about it. Anyways, so, uh, 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 lose. Oh, wait, actually, I can show you how to defeat a robot, I guess. I guess that works. Oh, yeah. There's, um, some heroes have a, uh, 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 some heroes have input, um, keys. And, uh, those heroes are usually premium, or sometimes rare. Um, like, uh, like my hero, uh, that I have right now, which is Hamaru. Another hero that's from, uh, Samurai Chapter so Showdown. So, I, I got Hamaru because, um, I actually like him. Uh, because, um, I played him, uh, sometimes in, uh, uh, Samurai Showdown. So, there's that. So, uh, once you, like, defeat, uh, a robot, they usually drop, um, legendary gears. Um, and legendary gears are better than epic gears. And, uh, and premium gear, premium gears are kind of on the same level as legendary gears. Sometimes, depending if legendary, the legendary gear is better than um, the premium gear. But the one that usually wins it all is uh, the friggin' paid win gears, which is if you could go to the shop and press the gear and so oh, wait. There aren't any paid win gears on sale. Crap. Okay, uh, uh, whatever. Okay, so mm, usually played win gears are in the uh, gear shop, and it's like around here. There's usually like three of them, and um, yeah, they're just yeah. You don't say, computer. <sighs> yeah. I'm gonna have to really. I have to speed this up because uh, otherwise, uh, I, otherwise it's gonna be really laggy and um, I won't be able to record anymore. So uh, let's go ahead and I'll show you how to lose. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna get my HP down really fast. <clears throat> Yes, yes. Okay, one more time. And then, okay. Now, okay, when you're getting beat up, uh, well, when you have low HP, you, you, 
you um drop um you drop your gear until you're naked. Well, uh, somewhat naked. You're like in your boxers or the tank top slash shorts. So that's how that's how you lose. Um, let's see. Uh, I would have shown you how to lose in a real game, but then I would have depression. That's so fun. And I would also show you how to win in a game, but my skills aren't what they used to be. So yeah, <clears throat> I'll see. I'm trying to think of. Um, okay, um, when you, okay, there's a daily login quest that's going in, uh, like, if you, mm, if you stay for 30 minutes, you get, like, this, my tree, which is, uh, GP, uh, random mount GP you, that you get, and then you receive it, and then there you go, um, let's see. Uh, yeah, um, basically, um, if you're wondering what to do, just, uh, just follow your quest. You just click the quest button and you just, the, you just find the quest that you want to complete, like this one, like, achieve 100 wins, uh, so there's that, um, otherwise, uh, Battle for 60 minutes. Uh, so th there's that. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, that's it. Um, that's how that's how you play. That's how you play um, Lost Saga um, and Shadow Assassin. I will do um, our heroes in uh, different videos. So, um, that's going to be it for now, um, so, yeah, uh, I will, uh, I'll see you guys later, bye.